Welcome back. Are you looking for a friendly fight? Well, the Queen City Roller Girls are probably right up your alley then. This league of independent, strong, dedicated women, they stay fit and have a great time while doing it. Now, this is a full contact sport. It is action-packed, full of excitement, and even though the friendly competition is encouraged and some elbows may be thrown, they say it's a sport that inspires women to be on and off the rink and work, to work together, whether they're on or off the rink. The rink. Now, joining us today in full contact are a few members from the Queen City Roller Girls League. We are joined by, and their names are Tuesday Hula over on the corner. Then we also have Artie Choker and Bang Garang. All right, let's uh, talk first about our names then. Why, what's with the fun names? We're all encouraged to create an alias when we join roller derby. So oftentimes throughout the league, I don't even know my teammates Really? Given right. names, <laughs> yeah, just <laughs> refer to them as their derby names. You just go by your nicknames. Yeah. That's so cool. Okay, so where'd you get Tuesday Hula from? I just named it after an old car that was going downhill, so I decided to keep that name alive by making it my derby name. And do you pick it yourself, or do you mm -hmm. kind of d discuss with your teammates? How already Choker, where'd you get yours from? Um, well, I was a, f a fan for a while, and um, a skater go goes by the name of Celery Stalker. I thought that was really cute, so I was thinking, what do I like? Artie, Artie chokes, Artie choker, and I go by Artie. So is there a lot of trash talk involved when we're talking about roller derby? Is this, is this part of, is your persona part of your, you know, on rink, uh, ex, is it part of the experience? Mm -hmm. Um, there's definitely no, no trash talking. Um, no. We have a lot of fun. Um, I started in Queens Court, which is our, our fresh meat team, mm -hmm. um, and we really get to know each other as people, and um, we just have a lot of fun. We may be on different teams, but we, we like hanging out together. It's huh? so friendly. Each other. Yeah. yeah, it's friendly. It's you're competing seriously when you're playing a game, playing in one of our bouts, but afterwards everyone gets together at the after party and has a good time together. Oh, yeah. You always give everyone a hug at the end of the game. Yep. So. All right, and your season is just getting started up right now. You are in kind of half of your gear. You you ladies all have your skates on, but when you're actually competing, you have to, it's, it's tough. You have to have pads, you have to have helmets. Tell us a little bit about what that's like. Well, it's a full contact sport, so you have to have your helmet, your, your mouth guard, your wrist guards, elbow pads, knee pads, everything to make sure that you don't break a bone, chip a tooth. <laughs> All right, we're yeah. checking out your skates right now. Tell us about, about these babies. They're we, just, yeah. <laughs> we wear original quad skates, um, but they've been transferred to roller derby, so they've made them a little padded around the ankle to give us support. Mm -hmm. We have pretty big toe stops so that we can stop on a dime. Our wheels, you might change them depending on how grippy of a surface you're playing on. Mm -hmm. And where do you play if people want to come out and be part of the Queen City Roller Derby Girls as well, either a spectator or as possibly a skater in the future? Mm -hmm. um, we skate um, at Rainbow Rink in North Tonawanda. Um, it's the good old fashioned uh, wood floor, mm -hmm. and so uh, that's uh, we wear certain wheels for that. Mm -hmm. um, it's a great time. Um, our bouts um, are Saturday nights. Our next one coming up is February 1st. Um, doors open at 6. Um, it's actually a double header yep. with the Junior Roller Derby girls. Okay. So yeah. that's coming up Saturday, February 1st. What does it take to be a Queen City Roller Girl, in, an, in essence, to sum things up? You're going to want to brush off your roller skating skills yeah. if you want to get involved. And there's open skate nights on Wednesday night at the rink, so you can always stop by in the evening. There's adults there, and a lot of the Queen City Roller Girls hang out mm -hmm. there and skate as well. So you can see, ask some questions. Um, but you want to be on the tougher side, be able to <laughs> make some contact with people. All right, so and I know <laughs> that you ladies are tough. Have, I mean, you can, have, have any of you ever had like an injury that you've had to come back from you're tough out there yeah it's there's... not unlikely <laughs> right I mean, you there's get your bumps and bruises but you know there have been some girls who have experienced some broken bones or things like that but they've always come back stronger than ever it never hold them back so. all right so definitely a certain amount of toughness to be a queen city roller girl your website's up on the screen www qcrg.net. Thanks, ladies, for coming in. Can Thank I borrow you. your skates to skate back over to the yes. kitchen? Yes. All over the place. You can definitely <laughs> save me some time. All right, and good luck in your match. Again, it's coming up Saturday, February 1st.